I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you why I switch from this Husky tool bucket to this Ryobi tool tote on Dad It Yourself. So this is my Husky tool bag carrier thing. I don't even know what they call it. Um, I use this thing every day. These are all my regular hand tools that I keep with me as I do my job. And it's provided me very well. Um, it has about 30 different pockets. You know, some of them are double like this, some are bigger like this, and then there are smaller ones in the inside. And I've got everything in there. I've got wrenches, pliers, screwdrivers. You can see knives, scissors, hammers, pry bars. And then what I like to refer to as the bottomless pit. There's nothing but screws and nails and trash and junk down in the bottom of that. And after a while, it does start to get heavy. Um, and as you can see, sorry, that's the handle. And after a while, when it does get heavy, that gets very uncomfortable. So, uh, for what it's worth, uh, great buy for the money. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm going to switch to something new. And what's new? Well, this is the Ryobi RSS01 large tote, large open tote, excuse me. And I got this from um, Amazon UK. They do not sell this in the United States, but it is what it is. Uh, as you guys know, I collect a few Ryobi tools here and there. And I like getting unique things that you can't really get in the United States. Uh, price on this, $46 and some change US right now with uh, exchange rate and another $50 of shipping. I did a two for one and actually ordered some other stuff down there. Those are the backpacks and saved a little bit on the freight. Um, I have another one of these coming because I have a feeling I'm gonna end up needing two. Uh, great construction. There's only 10 pockets in this one compared to 30 in the other one, but they're a lot bigger. So I'll be able to double up some of the tools. Uh, it's got a nice plastic bottom construction. Uh, arm shoulder thing. I don't think I'll use that. I'll probably end up taking that off. Um, pockets on the end. Place where you can put, of course, your Ryobi 20 foot, 25 foot tape measure. And what else does it get that I think is cool? Oh, these things right here. I like, really like these. There's uh, these strips right here. You're like, well, what are those for, Scott? Well, I'm thinking this would look really nice right there. So some of the tools from the bucket are going to make their way into this as well, just because they're specialty tools, electrician screwdrivers, testing equipment, and stuff like that. But most of the hand tools will get replaced by these, and these are my Craftsman Evolves. Uh, I did a video on those. If you want to check it out, there's a link right there. Um, I have Ryobi hand tools that I've collected from various places like Australia and such, and I'm not going to put them in this bag. I have had the worst of luck leaving tools behind and losing tools to the point where I have lost two of my Ryobi hammers. As you can see, I only have the one framing hammer left now. Uh, the 20 ounce and the 16 ounce are gone. I have a replacement 16 ounce already, but I can't find a 20 ounce. So if you've got a 20 ounce hammer you're willing to sell, uh, why don't you reach out to me in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram. So these are going to be the new hand tools for this and then whatever in the bucket I deem necessary, it will make its way up into that as well. Let's get this thing all stacked up. So the other advantage to doing a little house cleaning by switching everything in here is I was able to lighten that bucket up and a lot of stuff that I don't need to be carrying around anymore that had made its way into the bucket didn't make its way into here. So I've got a lot of extra room. So if I just want to grab a drill and throw it in here, then I can do that or another, uh, maybe a driver or something. And it's still way lighter than that bucket ever was. And this handle is going to be way more comfortable for carrying it.
really looking forward to using this Ryobi RSS LOT1 large open tote in my job. It's going to be a big change from that Husky bucket. Ergonomic handle, easy to carry, and fits in my truck. And I can use it with all my other Ryobi products like the Link system. If you have any questions about this or any other thing in this video, don't hesitate to put those down in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.